Hello everybody, my name is Hayden Hoffmeister, and today I will be showing you how to combine two overlapping raster files uh, that have different spatial resolutions in ArcGIS Pro. So as you can see here, I have a project set up and I have two different raster files. I have this Valley 9 raster file and this Valley 3. And just by looking at this map, you can tell that they have different spatial resolutions. Um, it looks like uh, Valley 3 has better resolution than Valley 9, but just to make sure, we're going to check uh, the properties first. So we're going to go ahead and right click over here in the contents pane and click on properties. We're going to go to this source tab and we're going to look for raster information. And right here, you can see the cell size uh, is going to be nine. So that's a, a cell size of nine, nine by nine. And we go down to the spatial reference and see that it's going to be in meters. So the cell size for uh, Valley nine is going to be nine meters now let's check on valley three go to the properties raster information and we have three and let's make sure the units match just double check that and they do so this one's gonna be three meters by three meters so before we combine these two we're gonna have to convert valley nine to a three meter raster and the reason is because um, by default arcgis pro is going to take that combination and it's gonna use the uh, higher um, the larger resolution so it would take this one and it would make it uh, a nine cell size nine meter cell size raster um, but we want to keep the resolution we want to keep the good resolution of the valley three raster so we're going to have to uh, resample the valley nine raster to three meters so we're going to go over to the analysis tab right at the top and click on tools to open our toolbox and we're going to search for the resample tool um, the resample data management tools this is what we're looking for right here so the input raster obviously it's going to be that valley 9 raster and the output uh, cell size down here we want to make that three by three so it's the same size as our valley three we can go ahead and rename it as well i like to rename it valley 9 3m so we just know it's the valley 9 but it's going to be three meters now here we're going to be able to choose our resampling technique. Now there's a few options um, for this specific resample. We're going to go ahead and use the uh, bilinear option. The bilinear option is basically going to smooth the uh, raster out. So it's going to give us a continuous data, um, which is fine because we know that this is a kind of hilly karst topography. This is going to be in southern Minnesota so we kind of know that we, we don't have any large cliffs or drop-offs or any um, you know jagged peaks to, to worry about so smoothing it over is, is going to result in a um, a fine fine uh, data so we're gonna run that and as you can see we have this valley 9 underscore 3m raster we can move that down and we can check the properties of that one right right now and perfect the cell size is three so we know uh, it worked properly so we can go ahead and remove the valley 9 original raster and these are the two rasters that we are <clears throat> now going to combine now there's two ways to do this we can do uh, you can either use map algebra or mosaicing for this tutorial I'm going to go ahead and uh, show you guys how to do it with map algebra so we're going to go back to that tools panel and we're going to search up raster calculator and we're going to get two options here the first option is going to say image analyst tools and the second is going to say spatial analyst tools now we have to use the spatial analyst tools um, this is the one we want so click on the second one now we have our rasters here and we have our functions if we just add the valley 3 and the valley 9 so say we go valley 3 plus valley 9 this is not going to give us the output that we want all this is going to do is take that valley 3 and just put it right on top of valley 9 right because as you can see valley 3 overlaps valley 9 and that's going to ruin the elevation data for the raster so we can't just add it together instead what we're going to do is we're going to go down here and we're going to use this uh, condition function which essentially works like an if else statement uh, in programming and the uh, condition we're going to have this condition function uh, check for is this is a null condition right now so we're going to say valley 3 is null and go ahead and use there we go 
Valley Nine. So what this essentially is saying is uh, it's checking the condition. It's saying if is null is true, then use Valley Nine. Uh, for everything else, use Valley Three. And what is null is checking is it's a, a Boolean operator. And it's basically looking at this Valley 3 data set and it's saying, okay, does this pixel have data? Uh, no, it doesn't, it's null. Then in that case, it's gonna return true. So if the condition is met, if the data is null for the pixel, we're gonna use the pixels for Valley 9. If the condition is, uh, is not met, or basically uh, every, because this is an if else, every other scenario, which because this is a Boolean, it's only one other option, we're gonna use Valley 3. So this is going to give us the uh, the output that we want. We're going to go down here. We'll rename it uh, to let's go ahead and say Valley Dem, and we're going to go ahead and run that process. Perfect. We can go ahead and close these and look over here. We have that Valley Dem raster, and we can already tell that it has combined the two values just by looking at here. We have the top end value, and then the same low end value. So we have the uh, we have the values covered uh, for the data set. Uh, let's go ahead and turn these ones off. And let's just check the properties to make sure that we have the resolution we want. Let's go to raster information, and there it is. The cell size is three here, so we kept the resolution, the uh, higher res or the better resolution of the uh, Valley Three raster. And then we can go ahead and and look at the uh, change the symbology to make sure the topography looks fine here. Perfect. There we go. That's how you combine two overlapping rasters in ArcGIS Pro using uh, map algebra, even if they are a uh, different cell size. I hope this tutorial was helpful.